Good afternoon. Welcome to the Tennessean BizCast. I'm Lance Williams, business editor here at the Tennessean. Uh, very pleased to be joined by a special guest today, John Ratzenberger. Thank you, Lance. Uh, of course, you may recognize him as a familiar face from Cheers for many years. Is the, Everybody knows your name. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> and uh, and my kids would recognize you from uh, uh, your uh, Pixar. Yeah, hear me to pick. <laughs> very good, very good. Well, we're really, uh, really pleased that you could join us today. Um, uh, but we're going to move a little bit away from um, from sort of the character career and talk a little bit about your other passion, which is manufacturing. Yes, I, well, this <clears throat> it really comes from being passionate about America, the United States. And it's, it's we are a unique uh, civilization. There's no doubt about it. Uh, I lived in Europe for ten years before I started Cheers, and that's where I fully understood that America really is an exceptional country where people went to to fulfill the dream. And the strength of America is manufacturing. When you think about it, we couldn't be doing this unless someone had to make this microphone, this table, the machines that made the shirts, your eyeglasses, the lenses. And unless someone gets up in the morning and goes to a job where they're putting nuts and bolts together or shaping something out of metal on a lathe or tool setting machine nothing happens but that is the real strength of America is manufacturing and I see it not just being uh, uh, harmed by overseas manufacturing it's we're literally running out of uh, workers because no one's teaching the kids how to use toolboxes how to how to use a screwdriver or pair of pliers when's the last time you saw a kid build a tree house so, kids come out of high school uh, not equipped to take a simple job in an aircraft factory, for instance. Well, and that's that's something that, that we you know we've heard coming out of the recession. We hear a lot of business owners saying, "I'm looking for people that are trained. I'm looking right. for people that can do certain tasks." And they're having issues. Is that is that really that that gap that we're seeing that people just you know aren't, aren't being trained in the areas where there's a big need? It's such a big crisis, and. and it's not surprising that most people don't know about it because if the CEO of a company says publicly, look, we're running out of workers, well, the stock value is going to plummet that day. So they don't say anything. But I, I know of a company uh, up in the Northeast, and they make, make metal objects. Um, I ran into the owner of the company at the airport at JFK. He was on his way to Argentina to hire welders, to bring them back. Oh, wow. welders. In a, in a place where you think there'd be hundreds, if not thousands. But we've told kids you got to go to college. We've made working with your hands seem like dirty work. And that's why I'm, I'm going to do my show, uh, American Made, John Ratzenberger's American Made. Run. If you go to fund anything forward slash American Made, uh, you'll, you'll see what we're about, but I want to do a show, much like the show I used to do, uh, where we honor people who work with their hands. The average age right now is 58 years old. So they're nearing nearing retirement. That's right. And though when you think of the infrastructure, of the electricity, not only does coal make electricity, as we all know, but someone has to make the machine that binds the coal. Someone has to repair that machine. Uh, the bridges, the water system, the sewer systems, uh, the highways, um, the electrical lines that are strong and that get blown down in storms, we're running out of people that know how to fix and repair and actually make those things. Where we used to be a nation of inventors, we're now becoming a nation of uh, video game players, <laughs> which is not a good thing. Absolutely. Well, and where do you think the answer lies? Is the answer lie within within schools and within trade schools, or is it something that's going to be driven from employers? I, I, I think it has to do with perception. Uh, when I was a kid, everybody was putting their hand to something useful. But I, I was lucky enough to grow up in a factory town. Um, my mother worked in a factory. My dad drove a truck. Uh, and he was pretty handy mechanically. My grandfather was a carpenter. I became a carpenter uh, before I, I started acting, and I still, I still do it. And I think that's 
more than anything, why well, I, I understand the importance of, of making things. I, even now, the uh, when you think of it, even the Boy Scouts are under att attack politically, and the Cub Scouts, and the Girl Scouts, uh, whole mech in schools. There's an article in the Wall Street Journal this morning, page A13, um, talking about how we should bring back home ec courses and woodworking classes. Because when you think about it, that's where you put theory and reality uh, together. Because if you're cutting something at a 45 degree angle, you now have a visceral understanding of what a 45 degree angle is. Fractions. Uh, you know, when you're cutting in a stringer of a stairway or building a birdhouse, you have knowledge now about geometry, algebra, multiplication, fractions, but it's right there, you've just done it. You know, whether that's cooking something, mending something, or building something, but it's it's hands-on. And So that's my quest. I've been doing this now about 10 years, giving lectures, uh, and uh, uh, it just amazes me that it's, it's taken so long for the uh, you know, like mainstream press to start catching up with the, the fact that we're running out of people we don't want to do stuff. Are there, um, uh, in your travels and in your, your discussions, are there any success stories that you can help us sort of point to or, or look at uh, for guidance? Well, yeah. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, uh, up in Beloit, Wisconsin, uh, one of the high schools up there, um, they started a program, a local fella, uh, uh, put up the money, and uh, the school builds a race car, plus all the other classes, plus all the normal high school stuff. But instead of just an auto shop where you learn about car maintenance, they actually build a race car. So fully from the ground up. From the ground up. And um, uh, and then they hire a race car driver to race it. Guess what? No dropout problem. <laughs> when, when they canceled shop courses nationwide, on average, the dropout rate went up 30% instantly because you had 30% of the kids going, well, but I like working with my hands. I, I want to do this. And so in their wisdom, whether it's the, the teachers or the school systems, they said, oh, no, everyone's going to go on to computers. Well, guys, you know, someone's got to build the building that houses the computers. Uh, I always said, never, never assume you're smarter than the man who laid the bricks of your building. Because that's a, when you look at how straight things have to be. That's not an easy job. There's a reason they don't let me do it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, well, we're running out of those people, so that's my, my crusade. Excellent. Well, t tell us again one more time the uh, uh, the website people can go to to learn more about your project. Right. It's uh, fund anything mm -hmm. uh, and forward slash... American made fund anything slash American made and that's this landing page and we go online August not August, in October How did I do for that? Uh, October 21st very good, very good. Yeah. all right we'll be watching for that and uh, we'll uh, uh, provide uh, ways to get that information as well we thank you so much for joining no, no. us today. Are you, are you a native? Are you a native Tennessee? Uh, I am actually from Kentucky, but been here uh, been here five years and a lot of. Yeah, well, as a matter of fact, one of the uh, uh, projects I got involved in just a few years ago was a study of the uh, Kentucky Long Run. Now that was a piece of art. It's what you know, the rifling and mm -hmm. the barrel, oh, wow. and, but it's all little things like that that move civilization along in, in, in a good way. The printing press, the light bulb, Benjamin Franklin, the Franklin stove, and, and the thing that ties all these people together is that as children, they tinker, they made things, pull things apart. So that's that's a, I'd like to see that come back. Where kids, kids out in the backyard, you know, falling out of trees. <laughs> That'd be nice. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Absolutely. All right. Uh, excellent. And we thank you for joining us. Uh, please join us uh, throughout the week for other webcasts on a variety of topics from arts and entertainment to sports, news, and, of course, business. Thanks again for joining us. Have a great afternoon. And thank you, Todd.